Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher Video, where I desire to do two things. Number one, provide you information. Number two, provide you inspiration in the middle of your week. Certainly hope your week is going well, and if not, may this video serve as a source of encouragement and a reminder that our God is with us, that he cares for us, and that he will not let us down. All right, so, hey, here we go. Let's get into the informational portion. The first is this, is that this Sunday is Palm Sunday. We look forward to celebrating the arrival of Jesus Christ as he comes into Jerusalem. People lay down palm branches, and they have a great experience of saying Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and we're grateful that he came and for what he's about to do then next Thursday which is March 28th we have our Seder dinner it starts at 6 p.m. if you need information about this simply go to info at fbcsalinas.com and you can uh, leave us an email or reach out to us with a text whatever and be more than happy to talk to you about that then on Friday, March 29th at 7 p.m. is our service of shadows. It's Good Friday, and we have this wonderful service, one of my favorite services of the year, 7 p.m. For those of you that are unable to join us, it will be live streamed, and so you can see it that way. And then on Resurrection Day, which is March 31st, we get to celebrate Jesus's resurrection, obviously. That's why it's called Resurrection Sunday. So 6.30, we'll have a sunrise service at 8.30. From 8.30 to about 9.45 or so, there will be a pancake breakfast sponsored by the Student Ministry Journey. And it's a fundraiser to help students go to camp. And then after that, at about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.10 in the morning, there will be an Easter egg hunt for the little children or for children, I should say, whether they're literal or big children. Uh, and that's why we need you to drop off candy in the bin, which is in the lobby. So do that. Uh, the more candy gets dropped off, the better off. That'll be great. And then after that, at 1030, we have our worship service celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that is it for Holy Week. And I'm going to get back to that in just a moment. But this Sunday, we are having a hoopathon, which is a fundraiser for the student ministry to go, for students to go to camp this upcoming summer. It'll be a great time. It will be after the worship service. Students are looking for uh, sponsors as they take baskets. Uh, we have a number of students that love to play hoops. And so we're gonna be doing that as a fundraiser. There will be hot dogs available for lunch and chips, and we really wanna show some great support to the students. I invite you to participate in that as we celebrate what God's doing in our student ministry with students going to camp. So that's this Sunday after church, all right? After our worship service in the gym. So we look forward to that. Hey, real quickly, and I'm gonna to get to it real quickly. The inspirational portion is this. I want to encourage you to spend time reading the latter chapters of Gospels in these coming days. Because we're coming into the greatest story. It's, it's such a, it's, it's the greatest drama. It's, and, and when I say drama, it's not a reality show because that sometimes gets staged. This, what Jesus Christ did for us is the greatest drama, the greatest act of love that anybody has ever done and one of the things that i that hit me the other day as i was looking at some passages in the latter parts of the gospels is the word love gets tossed around a lot and you're going to hear about this sunday jesus's love is a determined love that he will love no matter what so as you look at the latter chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you're going to notice that Jesus simply stays the course all the time because he has a love that is determined to finish what needed to be finished. And so my prayer for you, my prayer for all of us, is that we will be able to experience that determined love of Jesus Christ as we experience Holy Week this upcoming week. I love you. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.